Today we're gonna to introduce you to three drills that you can do by yourself or with a partner. Hey guys, welcome back to the Better at Beach YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Brandon. Unfortunately for a lot of us in the US, it is winter time. And when it's winter time, most of us are stuck inside. So if you are stuck inside, we wanted to bring you guys three drills that you can do either by yourself or if you happen to have a partner near you, you can have them help you out as well. Our first drill puts us into a bit of a unique position and it's sometimes something that we would never want to practice, but we're going to practice a one arm touch. Being able to control a ball with one arm is very important to be able to do, especially in transition plays. So this drill will help you feel more comfortable not only passing with one arm, but also passing with two. If you're doing this drill by yourself, then all you need is yourself and a ball. You're gonna to toss the ball to yourself and you're going to pass the ball with your right arm and then your left arm and then both arms. If you are a beginner, then I suggest you doing one arm, catch, one arm, catch, both arms, catch. And if you're an intermediate or an advanced player, try to do it continuous where you're going one arm, one arm, both arms, and then if you can keep going, that's even better. If you have a partner that you're working with, and once again, this partner does not have to know anything about volleyball, all they have to be able to do is toss you a ball, then they are going to toss the ball to you and you are going to pass every single touch back to them. The first touch should be one arm, the second touch should be your other one arm, and then the third touch would be both arms. If you wanna challenge yourself, once again, you can try to do this continuous with the person at the net, but if you don't have somebody that's a volleyball player, this is gonna be pretty tough. Our second drill works on our favorite defensive move, the pokey. We've been having a big debate within the Better at Beach family whether pokey is spelled I-E or E-Y. So in the comments, help us decide this debate and go ahead and let us know how you would spell it. Okay, back to the drill. Now what you're going to be doing is you are going to pass the ball in the air and then you're going to poke it to yourself. If you're a beginner, then once again, I suggest going a self toss, pass, poke, catch. If you feel like you're a little bit more advanced than that drill, then you can try to go continuous where you're alternating which arm you're poking with and it would look like pass, poke, poke, pass, poke, poke. Just make sure you're alternating hands so that we work on the pokey with our right and our left hand. Our second drill working with the pokey is your partner, who doesn't have to be a volleyball player, is going to be standing at the net. This is going to resemble kind of a pull defense situation where somebody might shoot a ball over your head and you have to play by a pokey. So what you're going to do is your partner is going to be at the net they are going to slap the ball telling you to initiate your pull and then they are just going to toss the ball over your head and you need to use a pokey to get that ball back to your partner. When you are doing this touch, make sure you're thinking about getting that ball high in the air so that your setter can get there and make a good set. We don't just want to shoot this ball right back at our partner. Make sure once again that you are alternating your hands because we need you to be good at poking with both of your hands. Our third drill deals with the tomahawk. So your solo drill is going to be where you are going to have a ball by yourself and now we're just looking at a two-handed pass into a tomahawk. If you are doing this drill by yourself, I'm gonna challenge you to not take your hands apart the entire time. The reason for that is because a lot of us tomahawk in a really weird way, but the way that we teach tomahawking is you would grab your hands just like you would normally pass and then we're just gonna lift them up and we're gonna use this flat part of the bottom of our hands to make our contact. So when you're doing this drill, you should be able to make a pass with your forearms like you would normally do. And then you're just gonna lift up to make your tomahawk and make that touch. If you are having trouble with this, make sure you are thinking about giving yourself time and getting this ball high. That will allow you to make some clean touches. The second drill is we're going to work on defense once again. Tomahawks are commonly used when somebody hits a ball that doesn't have enough speed for us to use with an open hand dig, but instead we have to have our hands together. So what we're going to do is your partner needs to be at the net cross court of you. So that partner should almost feel like they're hitting a cross court attack at you, but they're gonna be on the same side of the net as you. The defender or the person doing the drill should step into the court. The tosser is just going to toss the ball above the defender's head, who is going to make a touch with a tomahawk, and then they are going to set their partner back. 
This set can either be a handset or a platform set. It's just a matter of trying to refine your feet and make a good touch after this tomahawk. All right, before we say goodbye, please, I'm interested in a question for you guys. When you're in a game, are you more likely to tomahawk or pokey while on defense? We see a kind of mix in all of our classes and the people that we watch playing, so I'm kind of interested to see what you guys do. So, if you play a tomahawk more, I want you to write A in the comments, and if you use a pokey, I want you to write B. I'm interested to see what you guys have.